One of the women I visited recently um, was a lesbian from Nigeria. LGBT rights are basically non-existent in Nigeria and she was absolutely terrified of being deported back to Nigeria. Um, they were putting her on a charter flight and she tried to commit suicide. And um, then two weeks later, they suddenly said to her, right, we're taking you to the airport. She was in her nightdress uh, and flip-flops, and they simply put her in a van and were really, really abusive towards her. Um, they said to her, you know, uh, because we were campaigning to try and make sure that the airline wouldn't fly her, they said, oh, your friends aren't doing you any favours. You're going to be put on this flight anyway. She was on her period. She was in terrible pain. They put a restriction belt around her, around her waist and made the pain even worse. She needed to go to the toilet. They were just driving around in the dark. She told me since, I thought they were going to kill me. You know, this is a woman who survived all sorts of horrors and now she's going through that. We got her off that flight and she's now been released from detention. She'd hoped to be here today, it's actually her birthday. Um, but she can't because she's now actually in a mental health hospital to try and get better from the trauma of being both in Yarlswood and being tried to be forcibly deported. That's what detention does to people and that's why we're campaigning against it.